Hello and welcome back to the farm. That was a bit of an aggressive start. Let's try it again. Hi, welcome back to the farm. So, we're back in the onion field, harvesting away. Oh, uh, this is filling up super quick. Like, two and a half, three passes, and it is 100% full. This is a crazy amount of onions. We got 52, 53, around there, 1,000 liters in the semi already. And we've done such a little amount of this field. Crazy good. Let's hop out of here, get things lined up again. We'll bring the semi down here and we'll unload on the move. You'll probably we'll for sure stop by the time we get here because it is full now already. <laughs> Let's just get him over there. It was running apparently. There we go. Got yeah, 55,000 liters in here already. And yeah, and we have to, and if you watched the previous episode, we lost about 40, 45,000 liters of onions due to some malfunctions on the harvester. We have to dispose of all of them, which is kind of awful. Well, not really awful. There we go, get underneath there. And let's get going. Come on. There you go, move nice and close. Go. Yep, so today's the day we're finishing all of our root crop harvesting so we can get this harvester returned. And as soon as we're done, I'll actually done this I hope we, we can get the plowing I didn't really want to plow up much of the field until we had that grass taken off but it's not quite ready it kind of sucks I mean we couldn't plow some of this up this is all going to need uh, plowing because it was a root crop let's see here so we'll come yep this all needs plowing so yeah, once we get to the end here, we will, uh, I'll get out of here and hop into the 8960, which has the plow on the back ready to go in our last potato field over there, and we'll get a start on that. We're going to plow these two fields together and extend that potato field up to where we had mown our, for our silage bales last time. Or not silage bales, that was a little bit of grass we put into the silage pit. So we're going to plow that up as well, but we're just going to wait to do that until we can get our our cut of silage off of it, obviously. There we go. Okay, so let's hop into here. Yeah, so we won't make this field any bigger right now. We'll just leave it as it is. We'll probably plow up that middle section of grass because that's a minuscule amount. Or not really worth it mowing that, but the other section behind here is quite a large section, so we'd like to get that as silage if we could. So we get this all plowed up, and we'll quick, quick, we'll keep tabbing back over to the semi to keep the harvester unloaded. We want to get them done as quickly as possible, so we don't have. We have the least amount of leasing fees as possible. I mean, right now we're doing all right for money. We still have $900,000 in loan to pay off from purchasing our other cow farm, which we'll be moving to shortly. You know, I was debating putting another silage pit here for the silage, but I think, seeing how we have bought the other farm that has lots of pits in it, we're gonna just try, we're gonna cart all of our grass down there to unload from here. Like that, our next cut off here, I should say. We'll ferment it over there. Don't worry about that corner that we missed there. We will plow it up once we uh, plow the grass up. We'll make sure we get everything then. This is just so we can have a nice, or we can do most of it already. Actually, and so we're just getting ahead a little bit. A 
But yeah. So the last episodes were actually like the part one, part two. I just split them up into two different episodes. I had when I first got the video files into the recording there, it was almost well, about two and a half, three hours of recording. So, so yeah, that was uh, quite a bit of video footage to put into one video. So I figured ah, I might as well cut it up and put it into two. And instead of dragging that on, that would have been like an hour and 45 minute video if it would all have been one. So I think it was for the best that we, or I split it up into two videos. I guess we could have plowed that up already to join these two fields together at the bottom edge here, but oh well. Maybe we'll just join them all together once we have the two fields done. Or, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think, no, next time around we'll probably plow them up there. No, I don't know. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It was definitely going to make these fields bigger though, all into one, and this is going to be our cornfield, like I have been saying for many episodes already. I think we should head over back to the semi pretty soon, because these should be getting pretty close to full, I would think. see something actually here this plow runs at nine once we get down here actually we'll just stop right here uh garage owned items plow or is it here it is run 12 years wide runs at nine there's a new one here did i put onto here yes i did 26 meter Ooh. Wow. Needs 370 horse. How many horsepower is this? I almost want to try that out. This is 370. 26 meters. Wow. Yeah, let's lease that. I want to try that out. See how well that works. Customize. Attachers. Oh, so you can put something behind it yet. Wow, okay. We'll just leave everything the way it is. We'll lease that for four grand. And actually, I think we're going to go down to the store with the fence to pick it up because it is a lot quicker. All right. Actually, how much horsepower is the fence? 396. That's actually more horsepower. So actually, we may use it on that one. Use it on the fence. But for right now, we need to get into our semi because right side for unloading and he should be pretty close. I don't know if the 80% notification popped up yet or not. I had try, was trying to watch, but oh great, now he completed his task. Oh yeah, it must have uh, popped up because he's 86% full. There we go. Hopefully we can catch up to him in time before he's full. Whoops, foot slipped off the pedal. He's gonna be full any second now. There we go, got it. All right, so we have about 170,000 liters in here, I'm thinking. Yep, bang on. So we'll just stay with him until the end there and then we'll hop in the fence. We'll take the trailer back down to the yard, or our new yard that is. And actually no, we'll leave out the field here just in case we need some more storage for potatoes, or onions I mean, not potatoes. 
for onions, we'll leave it here. Oh yeah, we'll go grab that new plow with the fence. See how that guy works. I think it, uh, it looks like it's fixed on the three point, not trailed, hitched. So a little bit different from the one we have been using, but should be good. All right, done here. Go let's bring this down to the actual. We'll just bring it here, so we don't have to walk down the field. All right. Go hop through here. All right. So just leave that right there for now. Yeah, let's go grab. Ow. I'll see you back at the field once we have it. All right. So we're just about full here. Anyways, we're back anyways. I had a little break from recording, so I don't know how exactly how I'm gonna get that all back in. Yeah, we're pretty much full. We'll unload this guy one more time just to get this up to 100%. I think that one pass should get him there. He just went from the bottom up to the top here again. Let's get this guy to 100%. And we'll go get this sold down at the truck stop, I think is paying the best price for onions. I'll take a quick peek before we sell, obviously, but. Oh, that's close. Yeah, it'll be very soon. It'll be full. There we go. 250,000 liters. Okay, so let's quickly take a peek here on the menu. I do have the plow back at the field now. I'll show you guys that in a bit. It's a bit of a whopper. Yep, truck stop is paying the best price. So let's head on down there and we'll get her sold. We can do a little bit of mass calculation here. We go with, whoops, not there, calculator. 250,000 times that by 666, which is a bit of a number. <laughs> this load should be about $166,000. Oh, we should be making some decent money off of this, that's for sure. Zip around the corner here. Wouldn't it be great to be able to take corners that fast? Same here. Here, I'll just take this corner at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> that would flip so fast. All right, we need to remember to slow down for these tracks here. Or was it the other tracks? Yeah, oh, I think it's the other tracks. Yeah. Anyway, we'll slow, start slowing down for most tracks because they are throwing this truck for a loop every time we hit them at higher speeds. Go. Over the highway here again. I don't know why, but 25 miles an hour just feels so slow in this game. Alright. Let's get rid of that beam of light. Don't need that. So after we're done the onion harvest, we'll pay off another good chunk of the loan. I'm not quite sure how much we'll get to pay off, but we'll be a few hundred thousand, I'm thinking. Ah, that's a lot of onions. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Bad joke. Very bad joke. Alright, what was the total? 66,739. So yeah, obviously, they're paying... There's some, like, uh, half values that they don't show. Because it's obviously higher than exactly 60, 666 per thousand. Because we got more than that. Because I did the calculation. What we should have gotten. But, yeah. Anywho. So let's head on back to the field and we'll get started on plowing. Actually, yeah, because he won't be full yet. Yeah, we'll get started on plowing right away. So I'll show you the mammoth of plows that thing is. Bit of a setup. I'm surprised it only requires, what was it, 370 horse? Yeah, it's pretty big I 
I don't know if I un I think I unfolded it already. Yeah, it looks like I did. But I will show you that in a little bit. Just get on back to the field here. See where he's at. Just working his way down. So, yeah, he should be able to work for a little bit longer at least. Okay, so let's hop over here into the fence. Ta-da! Right, look at that thing. Massive. You can see in the width on the other side, on the side there, how wild, how wide that plow was. And that's pretty uh, decent working with. This thing's just massive. Let's see how well the fence pulls this. I did put some extra tires in the back for more grippage and a weight in the front to keep the nose down because bit big. Like, wow. Yeah, and as I suspected, it was three-point mounted, so it does spin with the tractor as you turn. But, wow. That's a pretty good setup. I like that. Very nice. <laughs> oh, wow. 26 meters, I think it plows at. Yeah, this fence pulls it no problem. Working speed is 9 miles per hour, so. Just look at that thing go. Craziness. Yeah, so I think we definitely in the future we will be selling that John Deere plow and buying one of these guys. Because, wow, we! I just can't get enough of it. Well, you can see how much those ends must weigh, how much it sags. It's a good thing it's got those wheels on the side on the edges there to keep it from digging into the ground. Actually, when you're pummeling, they do roll along too, so. Wow, all right. And uh, here, I'll show you guys right now, actually, what the folded up width of this is. So if you're planning on using this on any British map, Get that notion out of your head right now. Because that's about as narrow as it folds. Even these American maps are a bit hard to get her down the roads. And if you take a look at the ends here. Whoops, where are we? Yeah, it's just a hinge. There's no trailer hitch either end. So, yeah, this is strictly for wide open expanses. And in the store menu, you can add a hitch to go on back here. It's just a pin hitch after on the back. So you can add on a fertilizer tank or something, I think. I'm not quite sure what exactly that would be for, unless you want to add a cultivator behind it to smooth out everything as you go. But yeah. Oh, he's got a full... Missed that, I guess. Yeah, definitely missed the 80%. So we'll go we'll get them unloaded, keep them moving. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back with the harvester at the end and tidy up that edge looks like. Whoa. Come on, get going. There, there we go, I emptied again. That is a great unload rate. 50,000 liters in a matter of seconds. So let's hop back over here and we'll get this guy going again. We're going to have to turn on create plow or allow create fields for once you get to the grass section there. Which I'll turn it on right now so I don't forget. That is just amazing. Love that setup.
looks amazing. Works great. I know I keep going on about this, but wow. Very, very good. Yeah, so once the onion harvest is complete, we will stick us on a time lapse and get it all plowed up. While well, everything that we want to for now, grass section afterwards, just so that we can mow it again, like I've said multiple times in this episode. Going good. Yeah, we're definitely going to sell that other plow. Just going to stick with this one for now. Why did he stop? No, why is there a worker hired? Stop it. Why is it driving? Why? It's very I keep driving backwards. I don't know. Well, as long as I keep driving forwards, it seems to sort itself out. But I don't know why it keeps wanting to go in reverse. It's very strange. So we'll just go around here so we can get a bit of a more of a turning headland. This will give us a big headland because it's huge. <laughs> yeah, one thing, if the motor would change something on this, I would really like them to add a end hitch. Like so you could take it down the road easier to hitch from one end. And I guess you'd have to have swivel wheels, pivot wheels then, so it could roll the other way. That would just make it much easier for uh, transporting around, but it works great as it is. So, if you would like me to put a list of all the mods I use in the description, let me know in the comments. I don't have a list in there right now. I can make one and add it in from now on. But uh, since I'm on console, we cannot have links to the mods. Unfortunately, you just have to find them in the mod hub yourself. And sometimes that can be a bit of a struggle as well because you can search for one thing and some completely different stuff comes up. So, yeah. Hopefully in FS22 they improve the mod hub a bit because right now in game you have your tractors, small, medium, large tractors, your harvesters and so on and so forth. But in the mod hub, you have some of the same categories, but you have some completely different categories. So it'd be nice if the categories were all the same throughout, like the in-game store where you can buy stuff categories would be all the same as the mod hub ones, so you know exactly where everything is. But just a little thing I wish. I wish would we would get to the next game, but we'll see what happens. Countdown is on. Another was it? It's recorded on the seventh, so yeah, another two months to bring it to September twenty-second. Yeah, so about two and a half months to go, which will be here in no time. Yeah, just make sure you leave a comment if you want me to start adding the mod list into the description. That way I know if I should or not. Otherwise, I'll just keep it as it is and not have it in there. And again, if I would do that, I would probably just do a list of the mods I'm running or using, hopefully. Because I know I have a, quite a few installed and they're, I'm not using all of them, so... Guess we'll see now if the allow create fields is still on. It is not. So 
So let's get that going here again. I'm gonna turn off the my wheel here to see if it'll reset and because right now it is still wanting to go in reverse all the time. Alright, sorted. Does not wanna drive in reverse anymore. See look? Everything off. And now it's working. Good. So let's keep on plowing away here. So most likely just time lapse the other field with the plow because this is just cutting through this fast. Wow. Oh, helper has completed their task. So we'll finish this pass here and then we'll go see what's up. I do not think they're actually done. Nope, they're just stuck in a tree. So let's get this on. We'll clean up this edge right away. May as well. I mean, you don't have to come all the way back out here. We have a lot of onions already, so really, these are just a little bit of icing on this. We have so many onions. Spin this around. Yeah, it's got a bit of a triangle to do there yet. I don't know how well. Maybe we can get them going on this edge if we straighten out a nice edge here for them. There we go. And there. Yeah, maybe we can see if we can get a nice straight edge here, maybe. Pop in camera so we can follow a row. Choose that one there. Well, I guess we could have picked one a bit further over, but we didn't. There you go. Hopefully the worker can sort that out there now. So let's run over there, grab the semi. Hopefully you can make it back up there. And we'll unload them on the way down again. Go. Yep, so all the rest of the onions should fit into the trailer here. No problem whatsoever. Go get this out of the way here a little bit. Well, as we're waiting for him, we'll hop in and do it ourselves maybe. Like, look at what the worker does. Like, really? I wonder if you take it off the cab steering, if it would fix that. Well, we can try, maybe. If you go in the menu here, we'll put the controls on the screen so I can get it right. I do not think we can do it. No, I have to take over. Let's stop here for a sec. Uh, turn steering, cab steering, crab steering, all wheel steer. Yeah, let's keep it fixed like that. And we'll see what it does. See how well he can turn around like that. Hopefully he doesn't think my truck's in the way. Oh, okay, so he automatically changes it to that mode. Alright. Suit yourself. Get out of his way, because I know he's going to back into me. Oh, well, he probably wouldn't have. Whoa. Alright. Get alongside him here. Now they're 50,000 meters. So it should be just about up to 100 now. Yep, just over 100 actually. Nice. So let's leave him here and let him continue on. 
We'll continue with a plow. Amazing bright orange plow. I wish you could also in this game, like, uh, lease something on a trial. And if you like it afterwards, you could buy it for, like, a, your leasing price less. You could say, yeah, we'll lease this, but we want to try it out. And if we'd like it, we'll buy it. And you could have it for, le like, your whole lease price less. Now, if you try something out for leasing, but you, and you like it, you have to return it and buy a different one. So, you have, like, extra cost, which is kind of annoying. I mean, if you're running seasons, you can buy something, try it out for a little bit, and if it's less than half an hour of use, I think, you can return it for full price. So that's really nice about that. But in seasons, you can do that. But base game, you can't. And I am running seasons, so we could have done that, but we didn't. So, whoops. So, onion harvest is just about done. We should possibly finish this just before maybe he finished harvesting, because this is working. Like, <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but this is quick. So quick. It's amazing. Can't believe I didn't use it sooner. I mean, this is a fairly new mod. Can't remember exactly when it came out. But... Yeah, it's not months old. It came out in August for sure, so. Let's set this on cruise control here. And we'll take a quick look at the map and just see how much we've done. Boom. Like, we've just it cruised through this field. Like... <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I've plowed this fast. I mean, because I probably haven't. Another thing, let's take a look here at the different requirements in our plows. This one is this one here. 87 grand, 26 meters. Only requires 370 horsepower. And the base game one, it's not even half as wide. Requires almost twice the horsepower and runs two miles an hour slower and I guess that is a not a, this is a straight chisel plow and that other one will be a more of a furrow plow where it turns soil over and this is just digging up in the bottom and bringing it up so they do have different purposes but in game here oh this is a dream Who, why would you ever go back to using that and this is straight it's a flat front, so it's much easier to go. With the other ones, you have that long V angle at the back, so you have to worry about, you have to always come back and finish up ends at different angles and stuff, so. This is so much nicer. If you're in the market for a plow, I would highly recommend buying this one. Highly recommend. Yeah, so next episode, well actually we're going to finish the plowing out in this episode now. We're going to plow these all together and that will probably end the episode. Next episode we will most likely start with the transfer over of stuff over into the other farm. And yeah, yeah, that will probably happen this in-game day in the afternoon. We'll start transferring stuff over. Um, yeah, we'll probably start with doing just the loose material that we have in our silo, or our uh, MF shed pack silo there, our grass and, not grass, our hay and straw, that's all we have in there. Oh, we have a little bit of toll mix ration, we'll probably just throw that in the mixing wagon, so we can give that to the cows later, actually we'll move that over, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but yeah, 
Next in game day, not in game day, next episode will be moving day most likely. You might just write off that little bit of food and stuff we have in the cow's pasture and pen right now. It's not a whole lot and we have lots of silage and stuff to make others. Or maybe we should just leave them there for now and do it later, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it'll be moving day tomorrow and possibly fertilizing contracting on the side. We'll see what happens if there's anything good available. I mean, I've done most of it, so. Oh, we could also probably, we should probably plant that grass field behind our new farm there. So that it is growing as soon as possible for our hay cuts next year. Yeah, let's start plowing these together. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll probably hit this with a spot of lime before planting our corn in the spring. We'll probably do the liming this fall yet. And yeah. Okay. Cut that. Don't want to be plowing out too far close to the road. Let's work our way around the field to get ourselves a nice border again. Actually, no, let's leave them here for now. Let's hop into the harvester and we will... He's taking too ever. His turning is way too slow. Quick get this done. Oh, we have lots of time on the hour meter. We've already paid for another leasing fee, an hourly one. We've had five or four more, I guess, leasing payments. On the harvester we'll have two, one or two extra, probably just one on this header. We had a few on the potato header, but overall not too bad. Oh yeah, and also hopefully next episode, it'll, time will elapse enough that we can do mowing our grass here. And like I said, we'll pick that up just probably with the milling machine and throw it into the semi-trailer and haul it down to our new farm and put it in the, those silage pits down there. There's a lot of turning here now. A little piece. Should all fit in this harvester, I'm thinking. Hopefully at least. I mean hopefully not. Maybe. Woo woo woo. Don't turn too much. Seen so much turning. Wow. Let's back up maybe. Ah, a little piece to go yet. All right, harvesting complete. So we'll get this unloaded and we'll quickly bring that over to the store, get that sold. I guess we need to clear some of our equipment off the field for plowing. All right. Get that all folded up for those guys. Go. 
the store guy, the guys from the store will come pick that up while we off selling. Well, let's head on down and get us sold. Should be enough. That's about half. Well, just over half of what we got last time, or under half of what we got last time. Over half. Oh my goodness. So it'll be another 60, 70 grand. Whoa. Okay, so let's head on down there. We'll take this way this time. Shortcut through the store. Hey, you guys, the harvest is ready to go. Go get it. <laughs> Scream it as we drive by. Now, a little bit different. This way is usually a bit shorter to get to the superstore. We have to go a little ways around here, but not too bad. Okay, let's see how much we get for this. Well, as that's selling, we will tab over this truck here. Get this guy cleaned up. Get him off the field. We'll keep an eye on that corner, see how much money we make from that load. Up over half a million again. 98,000. Wow. Nice. So, like I said in the previous episode or episode before, whatever it was, root crops are definitely, definitely worth it. They take a long time to do, but man, that payout. Uh, where should we bring this? Let's bring it down on our new farm, actually. Because we're moving everything there, anyways. Actually, no, we should probably bring this to the old farmyard there. Not to the cow farm, but to the other one. To our main arable farm there. Because we're going to need it there. Most likely. Oh, maybe not, but that's closer. We'll just park it up there. Unless we decide to move bales with this trailer, but I doubt it. I think we're just going to use the auto load. And pick him up like that. Well, I'll just leave it here actually. Change of mind again. I should have a counter going. How often I change my mind per episode. <laughs> go. Let's we'll see if we can go move that trailer with this pickup. I mean, it'll have the power. I just don't know if it's going to have the right attachment. I think it should, but. Blasting across the plow field. will do. Alright, moves off the field, get out of the way, and then we'll start that time lapse of the plowing. That'll probably wrap up this episode. Got all the onions done, finally. Been talking about that for so long again. I know I talk about harvest for a long time before it ever happens, but it's all that build up, just like I want to get my money. A bit spit on the light side on the steering. Whew. All right, let's just leave this in here for now. That's fine. So before we get to plowing, actually, let's take a look on the menu here. And under we see we have our new cow barns. This is for our calves. If we ever do go down the route, I don't think we will. But here's uh, for our cows down there. But our la large cow pasture now has 144 
And with that comes almost 80,000 liters of milk, which we cannot access properly. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of fancy footwork and maybe just sell that in you know, parentheses, sell that, uh, just get some from a buy anything silo and call it ours and change the money around like that because we are entitled to it and there should be a way to get milk out of there but there isn't so anywho let's turn off to create fields because we do not want to go any bigger here and let's get this time lapse underway here nice that did not take long at all wow we love this new plow well, I'll get that lifted and folded up for now just so it's not putting or fold up and we'll take a look here on the map again and we'll see what we have accomplished done very nice so yeah, we're gonna have to do some lime spreading. We have to do all of this section once we plow this up. So we may as well do the whole field right away. Get her done. And we'll take a look here. Yeah, you can see what we have plowed. But yeah, this is not quite ready. So hopefully later this afternoon it will be. And tomorrow in game, hopefully the soybeans will be ready. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Why are you not folding up? If I said fold up, come on, go. There it goes, all right. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. and Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the videos I may put out in the future. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, I do post pics and some short videos of Farming Simulator and stuff like that. It's a little bit of updates on FS22 as it's approaching here. And until the next one, oh. Not to that, that part yet. <laughs> Instagram is Frosted Farmer. Until the next one, later.